Hey guys, and welcome back. I need you guys to vote on something for me. So stay tuned. I need you to leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. I want to go over kind of where I sit now, and then we'll get to the decision point. So since, uh, since the last video where I nailed the bottom fast to the case, uh, with the boat joint uh, in between the two, uh, the compressed wood uh, groove and plain flat and all that jazz that we did in the last video. Since then, I have flushed up the ends, so they're all good. Uh, flushed up the sides. Everything is good and square. Uh, I had to take a little bit of meat because one side was taller than the other. So I got it all, it's all, you know, the same dimension. <clears throat> And I also went ahead and finished off the, um, the grooves. So it all sits nice and pretty in the treadle stone. And I so said, while it's out there, I need to get some inspiration anyway. So I got it all set up in the treadle stone, put the stone in there and everything. So everything was sitting the way it's going to sit in the end. And I thought to myself, it looks too, it looks too square. Uh, with a big round wheel in it, it was just all boxy and it just didn't look right. So, <clears throat> I have, I have, um, I've drawn little lines, you probably can't see those lines, they're in pencil, but that's where the frame goes, right? That's where the frame kind of uh, blocks any view of this right so and I did that primarily because if I do any carving on the sides I want to make sure that it's not you know hidden by the frame while it's sitting in the treadle stone uh, something else I did <clears throat> was I located on the sides so that I could see them I located where the where the end caps are so that I don't carve if I carve through the entire board, I want to make sure that I'm not carving away the bottom and leave a, you know, a hole in the bottom, right, for water to get out. So, um, I thought <clears throat> I thought it would be perfect to uh, go ahead and round these corners off, right? I mean, since we have a big stone in here like this, right, that comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and nick these corners off. And what I did was I, I ran a string with a pencil and right off the axle of the stone and drew the same radius right right off of the axle of the stone. So everything is, is good there. And it's this whole box is centered right on the stone perfectly. So we're good there. So I've got this and then I took some, some of my French curves and I started playing around and I got it up I, I like this curve here where it comes up, where I need you guys' help, and I'm going to do, I'm going to carve the top of this in whichever way you guys decide. So the majority of the votes, uh, that's how I'm going to carve it out. If I only get one vote, well, then I'll carve it that way. But uh, one vote will, will uh, guarantee uh, how this is going to turn out. So I've got two different things that I'm looking at, either... All right, well, before I go a little bit further, I've drawn a center line right here, but I've also drawn, now the stone comes to right here. There's a line that you can't see. Now you can, probably. That is the absolute bottom of the stone where it sits in the, in the trough, right? So I've drawn another line right here across the entire length. I'll do this. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. And I don't want to do any carving below this line, right? I hope this turns out for you guys. I'm not trying to do it in pen or anything like this because then I have to shave all that off. Because it's not going to erase like a pencil will. So hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. And I, so I want to stay, 
I'm going to come up here and so all this right here is free reign. We have we have free game on this whole section right here. Now what I was thinking was kind of coming something I think more like this. The center line's here and we could come with something like this right come all the way down to that line and come up to a point and then just duplicate it on the other side so coming down here up to a point that's option one the second option is a, like a wave type pattern so it would kind of come come down and then come up into a wave and then maybe two or three waves and then come back to this uh, side over here what I kind of came up with that is <clears throat> the way I kind of came up with that is when I when I drew these lines these this radius here off of the axle of the stone the whole thing and then I drew this right here that made it even worse it started to look like a boat like a ship a little bit and I kind of I kind of liked it I kind of went with it because well not because I'm in the Navy but I think it's ironic I'm getting ready to retire from the Navy and boats float in the water they don't hold water <laughs> so this holds water and I just thought it was a little bit ironic but anyway um, yeah so that's what I'm looking at so option one is coming down to the line and then coming up to a point in the middle or doing a wave type pattern on the top so whichever guys whatever whatever you guys uh, come up with the majority of the votes on that that's how I'm gonna do it I'll draw it up and we'll carve it out on a video probably tomorrow night so Try and get your vote in uh, within the next, uh, I don't know, 18 hours, something like that. I'll post this, so sometime before I get off of work tomorrow, uh, which is around 4 p.m. Uh, Western Pacific, Pacific Standard Time on the West Coast, uh, get your vote in before then. I'll tally them up, and we'll go to town. But I need everybody to vote. So get your vote in, and uh, we'll draw it out and carve it up tomorrow night. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. Um, plus, it'll give me something. That every time I look at it, I'll think of you guys. Um, so that's it. Friends and family, I love you. Everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow night.